what's happening this is uh jason again this is gonna be a quick little video um uh, i'm going to shoot my center point dagger 390 over the chronograph i have three different arrows i'm gonna shoot uh the first arrow is uh 425 grain 20 inch mossy oak is a uh, from walmart it's got uh three inch veins i believe on it the second arrow they came with the bow they're just center point arrows i didn't see cp 400 on them or anything but anyway uh with the field point uh they weighed right at 400 grains and it has two inch blazer veins on it and uh the third one is i've uh, a bow an arrow that i've had for years they're uh in fact i got 12 of them they're called regox it's a 20 inch uh regox arrow uh with uh, I bought it on Amazon. It's Regox Bio, I think it was. But um, they came with four inch veins. Uh, well, the one target I had for my slower crossbow was blowing right through it. And so I moved it out further back and I shot it. And then about three quarters of the arrow was sticking out. The fleshings were buried into the, uh, the target. And when I pulled it out, of course one of the veins was was ripped about an inch like off the uh, bolt so anyway I ordered a pack of NAP quick fletch they're uh, two inch twister veins uh, yeah, two inch twister and so uh, I've used them before um, a couple several years ago when I first got them um, I shot really they shot really close and uh one of the arrow would hit and it would rip one of the veins off so anyway i got some more you slide them on there and then you dip them in boiling water for about 10 seconds and it shrink wraps shrink wraps them onto the bow the arrow and uh so we're we're gonna see how they shoot and uh these I think with the 100 grain, I just want to say, I think they were like uh, four, I'd have to double check it, around 400 to 420, I believe, something like that. 417, I think, I want to say that it sounds familiar, 415. So, I mean, with the, uh, the 100 grain head, the two inch twisters, they're, well, I think, what, 415 grain. So I have a 400, 415, and 425. And so we're going to shoot. I'm going to shoot those to see what they get. Uh, I'm not going to uh, do a, a review for, on the bow because, I mean, you can go on YouTube and there's all kind of stuff. But uh, the only issues, there's two issues I've had, and both of them are easily remedied. The first one is uh, it's front heavy, like stupid heavy uh but i, I got a, a sh shooting sticks and uh, a bipod so i mean it really makes no difference and i just put a sling on it to help carry it around and uh it's not bad i mean so it's not bad once you, if you support it now i have shot about 40 yard freehand and if you shoot quick it's not bad but like if you're trying to hold steady you know for a minute uh, like it, it gets heavy anyway the second uh second issue is the draw weight it, it's 200 i'm sorry 185 pound draw and uh it's there's zero in zero let off or something like uh so it, it's it's pretty stout with the uh the included rope cocker that came with it um i mean you shoot it 10 times 
you know, you got to take a little break. It does take a lot out of you. Uh, but there's a quiet crank that I can uh, you can get for this bow. I'm going to invest in one. But anyway, uh, I was looking for a, something a little faster than what I had, which was at uh, SA Sports Empire Terminator. And it... it it shot great. It was just a little slow, you know. I think uh, I was getting around 200 to 220 feet per second, depending on the arrows. Uh, there was a video I made on that. Just check out that video. Uh, oh, by the way, please subscribe. It would help out tremendously. Anyway, uh, I was looking for a bow. You know, I didn't want to spend you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars, like ten point of raven or anything. So um I had looked on uh Walmart.com and I found a center point um dagger three ninety. It was like two hundred and thirty nine dollars I think. So I put it in my cart and I had an issue that morning with uh fraud detection so I couldn't buy it which I'm really glad I did now because a few days later I checked and it was on clearance for $148. So naturally I bought it right there. And uh, now I looked on Walmart yesterday and it was back up to like $255 or something. Here's the bow. It's uh, It shoots really well. It's, it's pretty accurate. Uh, and this is the factory scope that came on it. Uh, it was super easy to assemble uh and as you can see it's got limb dampeners string dampeners uh he's even got stirrup dampeners all that stuff it was really easy to assemble it shoots really well so yeah let's get these through the chrono and all right that's uh let's shoot these arrows through the chrono and i will being legally blind i can't see see that thing so i have to watch the video and <laughs> pause it to zoom in but uh we'll come back uh with the uh, the uh speeds all right All right, so now that we shot them through the chronograph, I think the uh, the mossy oak was uh, 341 feet per second, I believe. The uh, center point was 350 feet per second, and those uh, regox were 347 feet per second. So it's it's cooking now. I believe that's with 400 plus grain, 400 400 plus grain bolt. I'm sure, like uh, if if you were to shoot a 370 or 390 grain bolt, I think you would get closer to the 390 foot per second. Uh, so I was shooting at this the Morel High Roller, which. Uh, it's a great target I, and I absolutely love it like, it stops my bolts but right now I'm kind of leery about shooting broadheads into it because um, it is like super super hard to remove the arrows so I'm kind of that's why I'm leery about shooting the broadheads because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get those back well uh, Thursday I uh left a voice message friday um jeff from uh morel targets uh contacted me back and we talked for a good 10 minutes and uh he was a like a super nice guy you know um told me about their uh side of their targeting process uh how they they you know check them and stuff and he was like, you should not have that much trouble getting these arrows out. Because uh, they had a, um, a puller with a gauge on it, you know, 
40, 50 pounds. Anyway, he said you should be able to just put one hand on it and pull the arrow out. Well, no. Uh, in fact, Friday, uh, Thursday evening, I got an arrow puller and they were like super hard even with the arrow puller. Well, I had ordered a Scorpion Venom Aero Release Fluid before um, Jeff had called me. And then, well, I got it in yesterday. And uh, well, anyway, he, you know, he had given me a couple tips of shooting it um, at like 30 yards and then maybe 40 yards because 20 yards, he said, is kind of close. So I shot it at 30 and then I shot it at 40. And it, uh, you know, I hit the target and both of them were really, really hard to pull out. So I sent them, I made a video of it on it and uh, I sent it to him yesterday. So hopefully I hear something back from him. But he, he kept saying they want, they're going to make it right. They're going to make it right. So, uh, I mean, he was like super, super to deal with. Morel has my business from now on. I mean, that's their customer service was awesome. Uh, he had talked about giving me a new target, and uh, I'll send that one back. But uh, anyway, uh, so I took the um, Scorpion Venom Fluid, and I put it on about a third of the arrow, the bolts. And when I shot them at 25, 20 yards, and... It made them manageable to pull out, but I still needed the arrow puller. I mean, it, it was still hard, but it was like cut in half, pretty much pulling them out. So, uh, so I was still able. I was able to sight it in, and like I said, you you shoot uh, ten times and you're done. You know, I or maybe I'm just a weenie pulling back at 185 pounds, but it gets it gets rough, and then pulling them arrows out takes some uh takes some doing too but anyway um so yeah they they, they were shooting really well I, I was i'm pretty impressed um please like and subscribe um that really will help out uh leave a comment if you want to see something else i have uh two different broadheads well technically i have three but two of them are missing. It's the NAP Spitfire. And they didn't open with that slower bow. And the one, I don't know what happened to the other two broadheads. But one of them that I shot, because uh, I, I lost the other two. So anyway, I shot it. One blade opened up. And that one blade that opened up kind of got a little bent. It wasn't bad. But anyway, uh, the first broadhead I, I bought were um, the Ramcat Hydroshock. It's kind of uh, over the shaft, but it's not barbed because they, they, they pivot. And I am really, really impressed with those. I like those a lot. They shot really well, uh, like fill point accuracy. Like I mean, they were really awesome. The second one I shot, they shot really well too, is Muzzy Trocar. The... Um, the crossbow uh, broadhead, both of them 100, 100, uh, 100 grain. I think uh, with this crossbow, I want to. I'm looking uh, hard into Schwacker. Um, so we'll see. But I, I might go 125 grain. You know, just give me that extra punch. But yeah. Anyway, until next time. Peace.